and I want to go here first. I want to go... I want to go here, up here again. And check this, um... Check that place where I found a note about the yellow, um... The yellow painted boat that the Saxons were not supposed to touch. Maybe it says something about the owner of the boat? Because, well, no, I mean, we know the owner of the boat is Galen. But, well, it was Galen. Why would Berna paint Galen's boat? Because then Galen would use it. She wouldn't use Galen's boat. She would have to use her own boat. So she would have had to paint her own boat. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. That does not make any sense. What's here? Oh, boars again. That's a death animation. Can I leave? Hopefully I can. So let, let's just go here. Um. Oh, I can't fast travel. I'm gonna go here first. Okay. Yeah, that... I, th I thought maybe she would have framed Galen, but... Nah. Well, she could have framed Galen. Just to make it look like he was... <laughs> Would she be smart, smart enough to be like three steps ahead? Like frame Galen and make him not get touched by Englishmen so we would notice that he wouldn't get... He wouldn't be touched by Englishmen, and then I, I don't know if she's smart enough to do that as a character. Hmm. Hmm. You there. Did you see anything strange around Grandbridge before the attack? I didn't. I was in the longhouse drinking with Birna and her man all night. She can really put it away. Like you would not. Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around Euroli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grandbridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. 
Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now and water the orchards with his blood. No, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm. Thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane Hapwitz! The Lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> Hmm. I was expecting him to do it. That home thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Yeah. Yeah, you couldn't, huh? Maybe Christians he... Christians don't curse. Uh... Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Okay, in... It... <laughs> This depends on how sneaky the devs are, or you know, the creative director, the story, I don't know who, who handles these things, but might be really sneaky, maybe doing a triple, triple um, plot twist here, and I'm not seeing it. I'm trying to figure it out, I'm trying to figure out if it's a double plot twist or a triple plot, plot twist, and I, on, I need I'm not challenger. too lucky. Oh, that's the drinking game. Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigmund is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely, hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? Birna was drinking in the longhouse when the attack began. Others can attest to that. Hardly the behavior of someone expecting an attack. Birna is in love with you. Unanswered love is a volcanic emotion. Birna has always been unpredictable. But she's a warrior grown. She does not let her emotions guide her actions. Birna used to be a smuggler. Hardly an honorable life. There is honor among even the lowliest of men. Danes know that better than most. Leif wishes he had stepped up to lead, and to be where you are now. Leif has a celebrated place in my clan. As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Leif disagrees with how you run Grandbridge. This city thrives under me. ...as a bustling port for his longships, for instance. Leif told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. I found an empty barrel of yellow paint beside a longboat launch. Yellow paint was used to mark a boat the night of the attack. An odd time for a fresh coat of paint. But that's his work, is it not? Gallen puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape, and Gallen sees an important meaning. Gallen told me he was near death when you found him, and saved his life. Yes, people thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? I found Gallen's longboat painted hastily with yellow paint on the day of the attack. Why would he mark his longboat differently from the rest of ours? Because we found a note that said so. Um. Oh yes, this one. I found a message meant for Saxon forces. It said not to attack any longship painted yellow. You. You told me you found yellow paint on Galen's longboat, didn't you? Your secret tunnel had many footprints nearby, and its mouth was painted with a yellow mark. 
Whoever betrayed you, they did so by marking the tunnel entrance, then opening the way to let the Saxons in. Okay, this... I think this is it. That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Galen betrayed you. Are you certain? Oh this will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. Oh boy. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Galen. You have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny, carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real <sighs> with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people <sighs> slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! <gasps> He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. Oh, that... I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wickman deserves death. But killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. Think you can swill with the best? Hmm. I, I didn't like how it ended. I didn't like it one off. Not at all. Hmm. Okay. Well, whatever. I, ha I really have to go now. Um. I'll probably try and. Okay. I'm gonna save here. And I'm gonna try and load. Uh, tomorrow, maybe off stream, and see, see if um, because I didn't like the way he said. He said it. He was convinced. He. Sh mm. I would have expected him to confess, you know, but he didn't confess. He doubled down. <sighs> I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna check this off stream anyway. So um. 16, 16, and then I save this right before it. So I'm gonna check this again, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be some more Assassin's Creed. And hopefully I'm gonna have to, you know, step step on the gas a bit, because I'm really, I'm going really slow. I mean, look at, look at the world. Look at the world. I've barely done, like, this part, and 
this is the whole world so uh, and even not just this thing there's also the atlas awesome with norway as well so i don't know anyway uh thank you very much for coming by and watching and uh i hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are on the globe and uh, i'll see you tomorrow yeah bye bye